the all-time best, the franchise, John Cena. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 250. Action here, and that means this match has that big fight feel. Yeah, Michael, the whole arena seems bigger whenever Cena's in action. And that's for good reason. Cena's message of positivity and perseverance are things that resonate the world over. All that has added. There's no love lost between Randy Orton and John Cena, and as Cena said backstage, this is a day of reckoning. Cena needs to tread lightly, though, because the Viper will have no trouble redirecting those same words back at John. And Randy isn't just looking to beat Cena. To the impressive presence that Cena seems to carry with him no matter where he is. And then there's Roman Reigns, the embodiment of greatness on a different level. The epitome of absolute dominance from the moment he sets foot in the venue. That was one of those power he wants to torture John Cena. Orton's never been one to show any remorse for his disgraceful behavior, and I would expect this. Oh my gosh, what impact! And Cena's finding the momentum in this one. Cena's throwing blows, and Orton can't slither out of the way. He thinks he has it. Power is through after two. Somehow. Oh, uh oh, monkey flip. <laughs> I love it. DDT. Devastating kick. Shoulders down. Is it enough? It's going to take more than that to keep his shoulders down. He got a little too confident with that one. Shoulder tackle. Oh, some way. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. We know Cena rises to any challenge, but Orton's more dangerous now than ever level as his longtime rival. That's how he beats the Viper at his own game. It's always disorienting taking those hits above the shoulders. Still the franchise. Cena remains the face of his generation.